Hey guys, how's it going? In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about whether you need a car out here or not. So, all right, without further ado, let me get out of the way. I don't wanna get uh, run over by the traffic. All right, so basically, do you need, you know, do you need a car out here? You know, short answer, you don't. Short answer, you do not need a car out here. You know, you can get around perfectly fine on foot. You don't even need a bicycle, because as you guys can see, I'm on a bicycle. So, you really don't need a car at all. And um, as I said, you can get around on a bicycle um, or Uber or taxi or any other ride share service out there which there are plenty of all right there's a lot of uh you know ride share services in which you can uh you know get around in the city so you know depending on what you're out here for if you're out here you know for uh let's say touristy reasons and you're not leaving the city of merida at all then it would probably be best for you um, to just, you know, Uber around the city is not a big deal. Now, if you want to explore the Yucatan Peninsula, and you might want to go to Cancun, you want to go to other places, yada, 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 all these things like that, then what you need to do is that, you know, probably rent a car, you know, um, and then when you rent the car, um, you can get around because, you know, um, it'll be more expensive to get around other ways. Now, for people out there that are backpackers and all this other stuff, yeah, you can also take buses. There's a lot of buses and all that stuff that will go um, through pretty much all, a lot of these locations and um, even little pueblos and villages and stuff like that. And you can go from hostel to hostel and stay in like, you know, little villages and places. So, you know, you can do all kinds of things like that, no problem. But, um, you know, um, when it comes to transport, um, you know, there's uh, the buses. You know, like I said, this is a very walkable city. You can walk around. Um, as you guys have seen many, many, many episodes that I filmed, has been walking around. No matter what neighborhood I'm in, I'm doing a lot of walking out here. All right. Um, but again, it's not for the faint of heart. As we were talking in a previous episode about the weather and all this other stuff. You know what I mean? So, just depending on who you are and uh, and what you're willing you know to uh to put your body through and all that good stuff you know but anyways i digress you know out here you know um the whole car thing is very different you know um than most people so when i need to you know me and christian need to do groceries you know um at the house you know what we end up doing you know we gotta buy, buy big bulky items um you know we end up just taking an uber and it's just like depending on where you're coming from if you're just like close by it's like a dollar or two but if you're coming from uh let's say like really really far away because you want to go to a specialty store you're probably paying five dollars um for an uber to um transport you and all your big bulky items you know what i mean no problem i mean right i mean that's what you need a car for right groceries and things like that to get around so there's a lot of things you got to look into because this is a question I get asked a lot and all that stuff. In fact, a lot of people are out there like, hey, where do you get a car? How come you don't get a car? You should get a car. Well, the reason is because I never really had a need to get a car, you know, living out here. Um, because I live in the city, per se, you know what I mean? And it's a very walkable, bikeable city. So, you know, why? See, look, I almost threw myself at the... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so, you know, with that being said, since this city is the way it is, you know, I've never really needed uh, to have a, a car. But now, as I plan on doing other things uh, this year going forward, like, for example, uh, you know, going out to like little Pueblos, um, going out to little villages, you know, going out to like the the boonies, I guess, you know, going out to the, the rural areas, you know, to the outskirts, you know, um, in order to look for land and buy property, 
and build a home and that do all that and um, you know get away from all this you know so but as we do that then yes our car is needed because <clears throat> whether you're traveling um, you know uh, between longer distance distances is on a regular basis then you know we need a car at that moment so that's what we're thinking about getting a car for that reason so look we're gonna go down Paseo Montejo early January all right this is early January of 2021 early January 2021 things are so starting to slowly get back to normal with traffic and other things um, we got these new like bike lanes but they're terrible and um, we got the bike lanes on the other side and terrible because these bike lanes as you guys can see have cars parked on them so this is supposed to be the bike lane out here somewhere but this is the bike lane now i think not sure i'm hoping so whatever oh you know what let's uh look at some art while we're out here but anyway so yeah guys you know what i mean to me the preferred method of coming out here and being out here is uh to be on a bike you know to be you know walking so you can really see more when you're in a car it's hard to like for example look what we're looking at right now when you're in a car it's a lot more difficult to see you know this because you know you, you can't just slow down you know right here you get to see i get to just slow down no problem and uh, get to check this out and watch it uh, okay so easy peasy so, oh, they're fixing this here. Uh-oh. I don't want to step on that. I don't want to get a flat. But anyways, okay, so yeah, back to the mobility aspect of things. So, you know, some people out here are, oh yeah, I got to get back on the road. Some people out here are looking to get away from a lot of things, you know, get away from the fast-paced light, get away from, uh, you know, the whole, uh, you know, every, everything that comes with living in a first world country, I guess. So out here, you know, like I said, you know, um, this is a small enough city in which you can basically get around the whole city um, through Uber or bike. And then, you know, Ubers and uh, drop and um, other ride share and taxis and stuff like that are fairly cheap. And um, and if you live in that more outskirts part of the city, yeah, sorry about the, the camera angle, I just noticed that. But anyways. If you live in the outskirts of the city and other parts of the city, um, you know, they got little, you know, taxi taxis, you know, meaning like, how do I say, they're like, uh, like guys on a bike that you've probably seen them around um, with like a little seating area in the front and then they, you know, bike people around. So, and that's it. Here, let me show you around. Let me go around this way just to show you real quick where we're at but yeah there's a lot more traffic a lot more people out so today is like uh tuesday i want to say so but yeah guys honestly the mobility aspect of uh list city is, is is awesome it's amazing and um i would not you know be too worried about it you know what i mean Honestly, you know what I mean? That's like one of those things that you got to get used to um, when you come out here, you know what I mean? Uh, because there's a lot of things, you know, that are very different. And so maybe not having a car is a good thing. Okay? And so, but it all depends. So because as soon as you get a car out here, like that's when I'm also kind of like dreading the fact of uh, getting a car. Because I know that the minute that I get a car, things are going to change. And isn't that going to be the same? You know what I mean? And yada, yada, yada. So, to me, like, I'm, I'm to, to me, getting a car is a necessary evil. I'm only getting a car out of necessity. I'm getting a cheap car. But I am not, you know, by any stretch of the imagination, you know what I mean? Like, uh, going to be, you know, relying on this car and, uh, you know, um, driving this car around more than my bike or walking around. I'm still going to be doing that. But 
I do know and understand that I do need a car for certain activities involving um, having to go outside of Merida. So basically, if you're going outside of Merida um, on a regular basis, um, then yeah, I, I, would, I would get a car. If you're gonna be going to Costco all the time or something like that, I would get a car. You know, there's a lot of situations in which getting a car are necessary and needed, but not every situation. You know what I mean? Not at all. Not, not by, you know, so, again, you know, out here, you can also, so look, yeah, let's talk about other aspects of the transport system. Here, let's go through the, the Christmas stuff before they take it down. So, you, I mean, you can't really see anything because it's daytime, but, um, but yeah, this is all usually lit up and there's all kinds of people vending and selling stuff and doing all kinds of stuff out here. And uh, it was really nice. Me and Christian came out here the other night on Saturday for a date. And uh, it was nice, you know what I mean? You know, it, was like, it seemed like back to normal, you know, so it was great. Just wanted to show you around. You know, usually all this is empty. Um, you know, it has other stuff. And so like, depending on the event, depending on the, you know what I mean? The Chris, uh, you know, whether it's Christmas or, you know, whatever other, you know, cultural, um, local event or whatever, you know what I mean, is happening. Um, they, they, they use this area to, um, you know what I mean? Like uh, put, put up stuff, you know what I mean? Like whatever they're celebrating. Anyway, no, I'm horrible at describing these things. It's funny how you guys are like, hey, what do you describe more like the building and the history? I'm like, bro, I can't even describe what the fuck I'm looking at. You're telling me that. You know, anyway, look, get on a tour bus, okay? That's what I would recommend. Get on a tour bus, all right? There's a lot of things to see out here. And that's another thing for transport. Again, you can just get on something like a like a tour bus or whatever, you know what I mean? On um, which they're not only that one, but there's other types of tour buses. And uh, and again, this is a very, very accessible city in many aspects. So I would not sweat it. So back to what we were saying. So, but you know, out here, you can get uh, motorbikes, scooters, and other um, electric uh, two-wheel transport, as you guys can see. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and pretend like I'm the expert here because that's not my department. But I do know they're available. They're around. People have asked me, okay, so how much are one of these scooters? Okay, so a brand new scooter can run you around a thousand to a thousand five hundred US dollars, okay? Around a thousand basically, all right? So around a thousand dollars gets you a new bike, a new motorcycle. So like around a thousand, a thousand five hundred, two thousand at the most expensive. Get you a, a, a scooter, a motorbike. A motorcycle okay and um, you know anything in that sense now a lot of people are asking me about you know um, what do I think uh, I mean yeah about electric bicycles because getting a scooter out here um, depending on your status is could be a little difficult because again some people are living out here and you're still on a tourist visa and you can't buy your own a, a scooter you know what I mean? Or operate one legally. By the way, you can um, operate any vehicle legally with your license from back home, okay? So if you got a license, a driving license from back home, wherever you're from, you got enough here. You do not need an international driver's license, okay? Um, whatever license from whatever country you, uh, you come from is more than enough. Just suffice, okay? But anyways, back to what we were saying. Um, Hold on, let me, let me get through here. I got some traffic behind me. I just want to run, run, So, and so look, I don't know if you guys were able to see there on the camera. You know, back to the whole conversation about the police out here. You saw how they were helping somebody else, okay? They were they had jumper cables and they were helping. So a lot of people are like about AAA and shit like that. I don't know if there's AAA. I, I know there's no AAA, but I don't know if there's any uh, equivalent service out here in Mexico. Probably not. But again, out here, you can just ask the cops and the cops are like AAA. Everything except towing, but they'll get a tow truck to help you with that, you feel me? So, if you need it. Or they can just push the car for you and help you out. Help a brother out. All right, so we're gonna wait here for a millisecond while we wait for this uh, trafico to move. So again, guys, you know, owning a car out here is not like a bad thing. It's just like, uh, it, it, depending on what your situation is. So if you just want a car for regular everyday transport, there's traffic, you know, and there's more and more traffic every single day. 
and um, all you're gonna be doing is clogging up the traffic. And a lot more, a lot of times, I get to my destination quicker on a bicycle than I would ever on a like the bus. All right, but anyways, but you know, a lot quicker than I would ever get um, in, in a, like an Uber or a taxi or anything like that. And let me just start. So now the one thing is that yes, you know, if you are on your bicycle out here. If you are walking, you gotta be careful. If you're on your bicycle, again, you gotta be careful of others. They're not necessarily responsible for anything they do to you. So you gotta be careful, number one. Number two, um, when you're walking, a lot of the streets, you know, can have a pothole or, or a crack in the whatever. And so you, you know, be careful, don't trip, don't fall. You, get, you follow? These are very, very important things. Um, but yeah, back to like the whole electronic bicycle. A lot of people that have come from other, you know, parts of the world that had, they um, they use like um, like an electric bicycle. Um, they're asking me if they can get any of that out here, and I don't know of any. There might be, but I don't know of any. Um, but anyways, um, but that's a workaround that you could drive an electric bicycle, and it's like you get around the whole. I'm owning a scooter, bike thing, or whatever. But once you're a temper, but you know, there's a lot of things that people do out here. A lot of times people, like an expat will buy a car and, and put it in somebody else's name and then drive that around no problem, you feel me? So remember, we're in Mexico, it's not the US. So. But anyways, you know, back to the whole car thing, you know, driving out here um, is also a little different in Mexico. I mean, at least in the Yucatan and many of them, but driving out here is a little different and it takes a little getting used to. And um, all the cars out here are mostly manual um, stick shift. So if you want an automatic car, that's a specialty car, okay? Um, and let me see, insurance is optional. Um, there's a little debate on this, but basically it's optional. Um, so again, car insurance is optional. So if you know that and you got a brand new Nissan Sentra, you probably want full coverage insurance on it. But if you got a beat up old piece of crap, maybe you're not gonna get insurance on it. Um, let me see, what other transportation topics can we talk about? Usually the buses are really, really great transport option. But ever since uh, the virus, um, the bus has become a pain in the butt. But the bus used to be great. But again, the whole thing with the the, 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 the car, it's just many aspects, you know? Once you have a car, there's just so much more expense that comes with it. Um, again, there's no expense with a bicycle. There's no expense uh, walking, you know, except with new shoes. You know, I gotta fill up my tire and air every once in a while. So you gotta, gotta, gotta. You know, <laughs> except for the startup cost of getting a bicycle. You know, you're pretty good. So, I'm trying to see what street. All right, sorry guys, one second. So yeah, I mean, guys, you can get around here many ways all right but again another thing if you're driving out here in a car and you're like in a central with you know they have a lot of parking out here you know but it could be a little hard to find parking sometimes it all depends you know so sometimes it's easy to find parking other times it's difficult to find parking and that's something you got to keep in mind um you know, also, you know what I mean? Like petty crime, I guess, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't worry about it. There's not too much petty crime out here either. So, I don't know, you know, to me, it's like the maintenance of the car, the gasoline, you know, um, so many other things that come with the car. So, you know, even me, when I'm getting a car, it's more like a secondary thing. Like I need it to do certain things, but it's not my, my main mode of transportation. You follow me? I can also buy a car now because I got my temporary residency, so I don't got to worry about it that situation so 
But yeah, you know what I mean? And so like, as you see on this street, it's nice and paved. This is one of the benefits after the 2020 debacle of the virus, you know, um, that, you know, some streets got really paved and taken care of. And, um, you know, as you guys also saw, that's another big issue. It's like, I don't want to own a car per se, because I can't even imagine the maintenance on this thing, you know, just going through all the potholes in all the streets out here. And so, you know, potholes are a serious situation. Especially, you know, no matter what you're on, because if you're not careful, you're gonna have a major accident because of a pothole. And, um, and you know, again, it doesn't matter if you're on your bike or in a car or whatever. So potholes. Also, BMW bugs. They're, they're the famous, uh, you know, VW bug. Every Mexican loves it. It's like, uh, it is everywhere. It is a thing. Um, they're great. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you can get VW bugs out here, like the ones that you see all over the place for like around a thousand bucks, give or take. A lot of cars out here, you can get for like around a thousand, thousand something, so, as well. So it's not like, you know, depending on the car you want. Now, if you want to get like a brand new Ford Escort or whatever the hell that is, or a brand new, uh, what is it, Dodge Caliber, it's probably gonna cost you the American prices, all right? I'm pretty sure. If you want to get an Audi, you know, it's going to be an Audi price. I don't think it's going to be cheaper per se. Um, also, there's a lot of... Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, watch your videos all the time. Awesome. Hey, nice to... I am, I am, I am. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Hold on, awesome. Cool, 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 man. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Hey, glad, uh, glad you saw me while I was doing the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I live all the way out there. I'm just like on my way through here. So. Okay, cool, cool. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Nice to see you. Hey, me la regalaron. Oh, sí, sí, sí. sí. Hablo español. Mira, me llamo José. Sí, sí. Yeah, man. How do you like it? I love it out here. It's yeah, freaking amazing. Video. It's every day you're like, yeah. Yeah, man. Complain. If you ever want to link up, just uh, shoot me an email or whatever, and then, uh, yeah, for sure, man. Oh, yeah, man. Mucho gusto. Okay. Yeah. Él es uh, cubano, right? Sí, soy cubano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eso es a ver bueno. Mucho gusto. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry because like, I literally got to get my phone fixed. That broke too. And like, yeah. Usually when you walk around, make it easy. You know, always, always working, right? Yeah, good luck to all right, man. man. Peace. Good luck. All right. Look at that. All right. Let's get back to work. <laughs> so, yeah, um, like I said, you know what I mean? Transportation is optional here. You know, it's not necessarily uh, a thing. Um, but, yeah, back to, you know, going back to that. I know. I'm not going to just gloss over it. But, anyway, so, yeah, pretty cool, huh? See? So, that's, uh, you know, um, pretty awesome side effect of uh, doing the YouTube channel. You know, I get to have people that know me, see me around. And uh, recognize me and see me and all that good stuff. So that's another cool thing. If you live out here, you probably see me out here, and we can, you know, we can link up. But anyways, back to the transportation aspect. You know, um, look at that little cart right there. You know, something like that. I'll outfit it with maybe some seats. You know what I mean? Like on the sides. Something like that, or you know, all kinds of vehicles out here. Again, the laws are very different can be outfitted for transport as well. So look at that, there, you can transport people there on that thing, you know, you can transport equipment, you can do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, just keep that in mind too. You know I mean, it's not, you're not gonna get pulled over and arrested for driving some weird contraption that you built in your garage, all right? So, <laughs> you know, worst case scenario, they're just gonna say, hey, uh, I think you need like a tag for that, you know, whatever, you know, just register the thing, you know, and that's it, it's not a big deal. So. It doesn't matter what you're into. You know, transport's not a big deal here. It's actually pretty cheap. And depending on uh, what you're looking for, um, will depend on what you're gonna buy. Um, like, like for me, I guess, you know, you, you know. For me, it was more a financial economic thing when I first, first, first got here. Sorry about the wind, very windy. But for me, it was more like an economic thing than anything else. Um, and that's why I did more on foot and uh, on a bike now, but as time goes on I'm actually, you know, I love the bike. I love walking around, you know, for a lot of reasons because it, It's exercise, you know what I mean? Again, 
like it's gonna take me the same amount of time remember i I'm, i live here now and i drive a lot of these uh, roads on everything's pretty close by it's not like you know but anyways for the most part um it, it takes me just the same amount of time going in a car than on a bike the only time i take a car for the most part it is like um when uh i just gotta carry heavy things you know that's it oh the place is far away or i don't want to walk 40 minutes but usually it's like a 15 minute walk you could do that not everybody but i can do that and depending on the weather you know what i mean and so out here you can live and uh, within just a feet you know meaning like a, a one minute walk you can have access to many things like many stores and many um you know many things and so and you don't need like a big mall per se and if you live by a mall even better so it's all about location 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 so you know the malls out here you know they're pretty similar to like the u.s malls except that uh you know they're mexican and but they're just a little different you know but other than that they're basically the same shit. and you got a lot of stuff taken care of there and um Hola. <laughs> and they're very very useful yeah maybe somebody else knows me i don't know <laughs> so yeah i know it's a pretty long episode today but whatever we're going with it having some fun this might be the first episode of the year might start off with a bang why not uh, but yeah guys you know like i said transport out here you know you have many 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 options but to me you know the reason i wa i walk and i bike now more than anything else is basically so that i can uh you know get my exercise and that's it so straight up you know what i mean so i could have easily ubered to these places and it would have only cost me a dollar fifty you know give or take but i chose to bike because you know i'm biking and sure it's a lot of it's flat pretty flat semi-flat but pretty flat so it's good to bike um but on top of that on top of the flatness okay that comes with all that also i'm gonna get cross over here anyways also with the flatness um you know there's a lot of wind sometimes and so you know sometimes you can be going with the wind or sometimes you're going against the wind and so on and so forth so Look at these tamales over here, yummy, yummy. That's what I'm saying, you know, you got like the convenience store, you got the guy selling tamales, you got another guy selling fucking the barbecue, you got another guy selling vegetables, you got another guy saying, bro, but you, as you're walking to the store, you probably bought everything you needed. You get what I'm saying? And the only thing you really need to go to the store for, is you, you know, just to get the big bulky items. Like I said, you know, some toilet paper, some, some Tide cleaner for your clothes or bleach or, whatever you know what I mean whatever big bulky items you buy you know so so and that's it guys you know what I mean it's as simple as that you know what I mean like it's uh you know transport out here and um, everybody follows the rules but if one of them breaks the rules it's on you guys to figure it out you know the cops ain't gonna do shit you know there ain't no court no, you know what I mean? That's like something major, you know, something huge. So, just keep that in mind, you know, at your own risk. You know, owning a car out here is not necessarily as uh, hunky-dory as you might think. So, yeah, today we're going to do an extra longer episode. And that's just because I got stopped by a fan. And we're coming from an extra long distance. But also, I got to go to a store. I got to, again, like as you heard me. Um... When I was talking to that guy, I gotta figure out my phone situation. So I got like a situation with my phone that I gotta go fix. I am exhausted. I've been biking all day, working all day. But again, it's really great because uh, I get leg day in. <laughs> um, and that's it. And then it also helps, you know, with the biking, you know, it also helps get some arms and you know it's uh pretty good but anyways guys you know exercise is key guys you know you got to maintain uh a very uh like it or not 
if you want to really live long and enjoy your life you got to just maintain a healthy lifestyle and um if you do something like have a bike and walk around it forces you to do a little bit more of a healthy lifestyle you know what i mean one way or the other because even if you're just uh, ubering around a lot even if you're just ubering around a lot you're still going to do a little bit more extra work and uh effort in order to get from point a to point b if you're doing you know certain things um but yeah you know just do it for yourself man like i tell you all the time like you were saying on the other channel all the things i talk about you got to do it for yourself no one's going to do it for you so that comes with everything whether it's a healthy lifestyle um whether it's living abroad whether it's uh, securing your financial status whatever it is Whatever it is, you know, following your dreams, you know, no one's gonna do it for you.